Try for a game against Argentina at Puebla next Monday. Uruguay only need a draw. This is Richard Goff. The man attracting a great deal of interest after his injury. And uh, let's see now if uh, Scotland can capitalise on this early fortune. Still under five minutes gone in this game, with both sides formed from the start. Scotland crossing the halfway line, no goals here in Neza. But just a reminder for anybody who might just have come in, amazingly, Uruguay already down to ten men, with their left-back Batista sends off. This is Francesco Lee, oh, lovely skill from Francesco Lee, they certainly have to watch him, he's still going. And a very timely intervention once again by Francesco Lee once more, very involved, and uh, Leighton trying to scramble down for that one. It did Holds it up well, though, and uh, gets the cross in, and Francesco Lee was coming in. And although there were only two Uruguayans up there in attack, they managed to create an opening. And as a centre-back, looks very good potential there, John, but uh, he's a very good player. Francesco Lee and uh, Ramos, and then see somebody up. Back leaves it for Francesco Lee, who hoofs it. It's Denmark, John, they're leaving one player up front. The pull is not midfield, and they're looking very, very compact. It was a substitute today, has five. Archibald and Strachan four apiece. Sturrock and Buxtay three apiece. That's looped over and a slip by Francesco Lee. Well, Aitken drives it across. Oh, that's a marvellous save from Nicol. The Liverpool man side-footed it when perhaps he might have been better advised to blast it, but it's very easy to say that from here. Alves spread himself well. It was a lovely piece of football, John, but uh, unfortunately it was a very, very good save from the goalkeeper. But a very definite chance missed there. Funny, we should just be talking about uh, goal scorers and Steve Nicol yet to register his first for Scotland. What a chance he had then. Gutierrez finding Francesco Lee. His control this time isn't as good as it should have a knack of doing that. He scored the goals that brought them here, in fact. Once more, it's McStay who concedes the free kick this time. Don't seem able to do that, and Graham Sharp must have that sort of service today. Francesca Lee takes it down superbly, confronts Neri. He's got uh, two Scottish shirts ahead of him. Now finds Santin. And there are two men over on the left as Francesca Lee holds off Willie Miller. Can't also hold off Aitken. Santin over on that far side. Good income. Francesca is screening the ball so effectively he won't be knocked off it. There are seven blue shirts ahead of uh, Ramos here. What on earth do Uruguay hope to achieve from this? Would only uh, can wonder. But Ramos is still there with Francesco Lee, and he's still there is Ramos. But he almost got past the last of the seven, Willie Miller. Here's Cabrera, Francesco Lee, Neri in the nick of time. But still Scotland nil, Uruguay nil, half an hour gone here in Neza. Just worth reminding people at home of the substitutes that Alex Ferguson's got to choose from today. Huge kick, and Francesco Lee's in chase. Leighton wasn't sure whether to come off his line or not. This fellow's dangerous in these situations. He won a penalty, don't forget, against Denmark. Nice little back flick here for Ramos. And Uruguay still only got three men up there, so it comes back to the captain, Barrios. Four, and we're inside the last minute of the first half. With Ramos and Francesco Lee. Owen Ramos here, good play, but very rhythmical. Now Francesco Lee, oh he's done well and turned inside McStay, Francesco Lee so dangerous, hit it to the near post, Leighton's reactions were good, but uh, it will be a corner. Francesco Lee, beaten off uh, by Neri, who's uh, got a bit of a bang on his head for his troubles. Ramos, loves running with the ball. 
Chesney uses his strength to keep Neri at bay. And then he's made a good run down the right, so he's in possession once more. And this time it's Francesco who's brought the crashing to the ground. There's going to be a booking for David Neri. I much admire the, the skills of Francesco Lee. You can understand why people pay so much money for him. He's been far more in evidence here than he was against Denmark, and here he is once more inside the area. And that was a pretty last-ditch tackle from Nickel that denied him. Now Francesco Lee. Cabrera inside Scottish territory. He's got nobody to use out of his left, so he has to use uh, Francesco Lee down the centre. And somehow he's managed to get it back to Santa. Batista was sent off after hacking down Gordon Strachan. A quite dramatic decision by the French referee. But Uruguay have lived with it. Omar Boras, mind you, must be an anxious man at this moment. So they take their football so seriously in Uruguay. After they've been beaten by six goals by Denmark. Boris's family did receive death threats. Uh, there is a police guard on his home in Montevideo. And his phone is being tapped, we're told, as well. So that's uh, how serious the situation is for the Uruguayan coach. And uh, Ramos will just keep that ball in play. It wasn't a strong header from Arthur Alberston. He's only got Francesco Lee up with him in the box. Just outside it here is Santin. And that's beyond Francesco Lee, who was not pleased by the pass. What amounts to the full game. But he's uh, defended admirably, and on the break here is Francesco Lee, and there could be problems for Scotland. Santin so vital, but it's Scotland nil, Uruguay nil. And there he beats off Francesco Lee. Goff goes up. This big lad, Saralegi, looks to me more like a, a midfield player, more of a defensive type player. Francesco Lee trying to beat off Goff, does so. Here's Cabrera, who's just missed one chance. Just 16 minutes left. And uh, if this one stays a draw, West Germany would finish in second place, Uruguay would be third, and Scotland sadly would be fourth. There's a Francesco Lee. So good at uh, shielding the ball inside the area as well, and Francesco Lee's still there. He thought he was brought down. A little flick from Sharp almost got Alves out. Billy, McT he, Billy McNeil's heart stopped beating for a moment, I'm sure. He's only got Francesco Lee in front of him. He finds him, though, and Francesco Lee inside the area. Holds things up. Here, hope they don't. Here's Francesco Lee. The ball taken clean to Francesco Lee, and there are now less than 11 minutes left board here tells us that there are exactly 10 minutes left for Scotland to stay in the World Cup. Roy Aitken battling and uh, winning the ball for Scotland. Well, a huge kick from Alves. He's not had a lot of support and he's not had a lot of supply. How precious one of those goals that he scores for Everton could be. But here's Francesco Lee inside the area. And Willie Miller gives away the corner kick. So it's Uruguay's turn to threaten. I've been so impressed by Francesco Lee, John. He's played a lone battle up there. He's held the ball up. He's attacked Scottish defender with it. And he's given his team an awful lot of rest. He's had a tremendous game. Now Uruguay, in fact, are taking Francesco Lee off. Now that's uh, something of a surprising decision, Billy. Well, I think they've said he's worked hard enough, John. It, it, it's a surprise for me to see him come off, but he's been up there on his own, so perhaps uh, this... The lad is coming on as a mend, he's quite quick, and perhaps they're back on a little bit of tiredness in the Scottish defence at this stage. Jim Layton is uh, remonstrating with the referee there. 
because of the time that Uruguay have taken to take Francescoli off and to bring Al Zamendi on. But they are past masters, real craftsmen at time-wasting. And Scotland have only six and a half minutes to do something about staying in the...